Hello everyone, Shroomerover here, and welcome back to Let's Make a Mini, the series where I'm going to be taking some of our favourite characters from the worlds of video games, movies, TV, comics, all that good stuff, and making them as playable TTRPG minifigures right here on Hero Forge. Yes, indeed. Now, today I've sort of fast-tracked a character that uh, was going to be done much later on in uh, this series. But, I fast track them forward because I want to showcase uh, one of the new features that Hero Forge has added. For those of you who don't know, Hero Forge, uh, the link to which, by the way, will be down in the description below. Make sure you check it out. Um, every week, they have this thing where they're adding new features um, to, to their roster. As you can see here, they'll have this sort of new thing above them. Like, the most re one of the most recent ones is this new uh, bear folk uh, race. But, um... They've added a new feature as part of the clothing aspect that actually I'm really excited for. I think it adds a lot of different options for the characters you're creating. And I've actually wanted them to add it for quite a while. Uh, but I didn't think they'd be able to just because of how finicky it is with the kind of whole 3D printing aspect that allows them to make these uh, minifigs in real life. I'm really excited to add it. So um, I've fast tracked this character forward. And as you can see from the title, we're going to be making Anna Williams from the Tekken franchise. Uh, very excited to do this. It's quite a simplistic build in some aspects, but um, I think it's, it's going to be really effective. So without any further ado, let's make a mini. So, starting things off with the uh, human female build right here. Um, as with many, not too much to do here. As you can see, they've got all these kind of new features on the head. They've got these sort of ursine features for the bear. They've also got very, very many more draconian features here, which is really cool, adds a lot of different aspects if you want to create like a sort of dragonborn or dragon folk character. We're going to be going with our basic uh, human features. The expression is going to be taken down to very neutral. Um, the only other thing we really need to change here is the hair, um, which I've accidentally just removed entirely. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, but we want to have this kind of uh, short bob going on, which is fine. And like I say, really nothing much to do here. What we can do is make uh, her measurements, uh, take the weight down a little bit, and probably just make her a little bit more muscular, uh, because Anna Williams is quite a strong character. So that's what we're going to do. And again, as with many more, there's not a lot we have to do here. She is a human female. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on with the body. We don't need to add anything there. Which means we can immediately get right into the fun stuff with the clothing and the gear. So, looking at my my reference sheet that I've got going on over here. Again, we don't need to add a lot of items here. It's just the clothing. <clears throat> no headwear, nothing on the shoulders. We're just going to add the clothing. So, the one I'm looking for here, there's, as I think I've mentioned before, or at least if I haven't, I probably should now, there's not a whole huge amount of your basic kind of more female aimed clothing. But what we can do with Anna Williams, she does wear a dress, and we're going to add this, the fancy dress top, to her here, which is pretty much perfect. Uh, she wears a sleeveless kind of dress. I believe she does actually have kind of bangle things going on on her wrists, which we do add here, which is a very nice addition for Anna. Now, for the legs, once again, there's not a whole huge amount that's aimed more towards a, a more feminine character, which is a shame, and I really hope they do add more of these in later on, which they may well do with some of the later additions that Hero Forge have been making, which is very cool. Um, a lot of it is your basic armor or trousers, but if we scroll down further, we have these kind of um, skirt uh, additions going on, and the best one to look at is probably this, um, the Tavern Girl skirt. Uh, which we add there, and there is a reason <clears throat> that we're going to do this one over, say, a sort of a straighter build. Uh, the reason is Anna Williams in the Tekken games tends to wear kind of floral print. There's a lot of reds and yellows going on and pinks going on in there. We can't add patterns, as I've mentioned before, because of the very finicky, small levels of details that need to go into painting these things. Um, but what we can do with this particular one is we can add layers of colour which is really going to help because we can pick and choose different shades of red, magenta, pink, all that stuff, and build it that way. So that is her main clothing, but here is the exciting thing for me. And this is what I really wanted to add in. Hero Forge is one of their newest additions, have added heeled shoes. 
which doesn't sound like a major thing, but for me it really is. I think this is a fantastic addition. And all of these uh, are high heeled. They've got added in, I think, 10 new ones, which is fantastic. It is a wonderful addition and can really open up. It's, it's a small detail, but I think it's very important that they've added this in. Um, it just adds a little bit more representation. You're not fully gone on like, okay, well, I have to wear armored shoes or I have to wear basic boots. You don't have to do that anymore. We've got these lovely new heeled additions. And we're going to go with a more basic one here because we've got these sort of medium heels, which is fine. We've also got the high heels, which um, I don't want to go with the high heels because they are far too tiptoey, as you can see here. So what I want to do is go with the medium heel punt, which they're very accurate to what she was wearing before. If we scroll down, there was nothing heeled and we really had to go with like the flats, which she doesn't wear. Like Anna Williams wears heels. It's part of the character. It's part of what she wears. So this is what we're working with for Anna. And I think that it's just a really nice addition to the to the roster of, of items that they have as a whole. <clears throat> I think it's a very important addition and I really like it, which is why I fast track support because I wanted to showcase the fact that they've got all these new shoes, which I think is a great addition. Fantastic stuff, Hero Forge, if you're watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is pretty much actually all the clothing done. As I say, Anna Williams is a quite simplistic build in terms of character. She doesn't have any gear to add, so we're just going to add a, a base and some items. Um, the best one here is going to be the bamboo texture. Um, you know, we don't want to add a metal one. In theory, we could use any of these bases because obviously there are a variety of maps um, on in the various Tekken games. This one is kind of sort of dojo base, and I know for a fact there are some some dojo uh, maps in um, in the Tekken franchise. They're mostly done for other characters, but this one to me seemed like the best option. And what we can do is add some items in. Now, what I like to do when there is this bamboo base. Um, my, my first item that I want to add is going to be these leaves. Um, I just like having them there because it kind of gets this, it kind, kind, kind of envisages this kind of open plan dojo effect where the leaves can blow through, <coughs> which is an effect I quite like. Now, as far as items go, there's not really that much we want to add, but we can be quite thematic and add a very specific item that we wouldn't really be able to use anywhere else. Um, and I'm gonna have to try and find it because so I don't know where it is because <clears throat> it's very underutilized um, As far as base items go, but it's down here, and it's the hourglass Which would seem like a strange thing, but when you think about it Tekken is a timed fight So it's actually really quite good to have an hourglass as the item that we're going to use So we're gonna add that in there. I think that's very nice and we're going to pretty much leave it at that as I say this might be even be a shorter video because there's not a whole huge amount we need to add here. This is quite a basic build, uh, and we're going to try have to bring it to life as we have with other characters with the colouring. So, with everything added that we need to add, that is what we can now move on to. So, in terms of colour, we're going to be focusing a lot on um, on on reds and stuff. I'm going to add in the skin tone, which is going to be this one, I think. Um, yeah, that seems fine to me. Uh, we keep the brown eyes, which I think she actually has, and now we can move on to the painting. We could put in a theme, but I'm not going to, I don't think. Um, if things get a little bit tricky, uh, then we might do that, uh, especially with the hourglass. I've experimented with this and it can get a little finicky, but I think we can handle it. So looking at my sort of reference, I mean, we're going to go with a basic brown hair, I think. That's pretty much as close as we're going to get. I mean, we can try that, but that's a little bit too light for my liking. I quite like this particular colouring. Uh, the chestnut, again, goes a little bit lighter. This is a little bit too greyish brown, which I don't like. So we're going to go with this particular colouring, the, the walnut brunette, as it is so called. Now, let's start building the rest of the character up. I'm going to go from the bottom, starting here with this... Um, Hmm, let's try that beach. Yeah, let's go with that. That seems fine. Um, oh, maybe the oak. Uh, no, let's go with that. I mean, this this is just window 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 dressing. There's not really much we need to, need to do here. Uh, again, before I forget, let's add the primer in. 
And let's get these leaves coloured. Um, we can just throw in like a variety of autumnal colours here. Let's get some of this on. Uh, a little bit of green. Why not? Let's put some red in there. And we've got one more here which we will also make red. Lovely. Now the hourglass. Um, I'm going to use... No, I don't think I want to use that one. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Tricky one here. Because I want it to be a kind of more of a grey. Let's take a look at the themes that we can run with and see if that will change anything. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, because as you can see, the um, if we just go on here, we want to change the colouring of the, of the planks. But this hourglass is actually quite difficult to do, and as you can see, the... Um, the wood they've gone with is this mahogany tuned, and as we've as we've explored before, tuned means it's been edited. I quite like that as a colouring. Um, what you'll see is that they've actually used this cloth for the bottom section because this is two tone, and that's what's allowing us to get this idea of the sand going through, which again I really like. So we're going to roll with that. Let's just roll with that. The uh, the top half of it is this. Uh, this tuned ash bottle colour as well. So, now we'll go back and grab that oak wood for the flooring. And all we need to do is edit Anna's colouring. So for this, we're going to go into cloth. We're going to be focusing here with these kind of warm floral, coral, scarlet, all this good stuff. We might throw in a bit of carmine there as well. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to be focusing on these. So for the main part, I want to make it that particular colour. Um, we'll probably make her shoes the same. We've got options, three different coloured options on the shoe. The front of the heel, the back of the heel, and the rest of the shoe. Which is, again, very nice addition. Um, we might make her, her bangle areas that colour as well. Um, and as you can see, you can layer all of these really nicely, which is what I'm going to try and do. Yeah, that's lovely. And around the back, we will have this as well. And we want to throw in a little bit of this red. I actually quite like that for the top, I think. No, I want that to be lighter. I think that's lighter there. We can add the royal one in there. And maybe make this, this aspect that colour as well. So yeah, we, we can add all that stuff in. We can make uh, this... Yeah, that's a much better, much better option. Like, we could try this, this, this carmine stuff, but that's a bit too maroon. We want to get as many layers of red and pink in as we can, because that's as accurate as we're going to get. Um, and now I want to move to the leather, just for the belt. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. A belt red going on there. Uh, and now the last bits, really, are this buckle and her necklace. And again, we want to go red for the necklace. Yeah, it's kind of red and gold. Which we can do, and we can match up the belt buckle to the gold as well. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Uh, do I want to go with, with a slightly tanner one? Hmm. No, no, I don't think so. I think that we want to go as radiant as possible with her. Don't think we're missing anything. We are not. Yeah, I quite like that. I think that's good. I say we can't get the florals in, which is unfortunate. But you know, with limited to the to the painting options that Hero Forge can do with such a small mini, I think that's fine. Um, you know, we've 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 built layers instead of throwing in florals, and that's about as good as we can do. And the effect's quite nice. You know, it, it's it's recognisably the kind of thing she would wear. The last thing we need to do is the pose. Um, and I have something in mind for this. This is not what we want. Um, this is quite good, but there is one last thing we can change. One last thing we can change. I think that's the kind of thing we want to go with. Uh, can we go with that one? No, that's not as good. We want her, she does actually have this kind of slightly side on pose, but her hands are up. She uses a lot of chopping maneuvers, uh, which we can edit in the advanced section. 
Uh, now that we can just straight up edit hands. And that's what we want to do. I um, think maybe that one. Maybe the salute is better. Hmm, it looks a bit odd. Let's try that. Oh, that's better, yeah. Yeah, that's much better. And what we want to do is try and make it a little bit more open. So if we bend at the elbow. And at the wrist. Hmm, that's better. That is better. Is that the kind of pose that she would go with? I think so. I don't think there's any better poses that we can really realistically look at. Because we want her to have that kind of side-on pose that she's working with there. I think that's as good as we're going to get. So let's just um, let's just edit the, the right wrist as well. Oh, no, wrong way. We bend it down like that. Maybe get the elbow shoulder can come out there. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. I want the elbow to bend a little bit. Maybe have that up as well. Hmm. No, not quite that. Hmm. I want those hands to be a little bit more sort of choppy, so let's try flat. Nope, that's bent. No, that's not quite right. This is where things get a little bit more finicky for us. I'm overusing that word. Uh, open palm. That's possibly better. Let's try the thumb tucked in. No, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Beg is uh, not quite right. What else is an option here? The open palm is quite good. Yeah, that's much better. I just want to try it one more, and that is um, not that one. Do I want to try one more? I think that will do. Because it is very much the action that she has um, as a kind of starting point. Um, and I think that's pretty much Anna. I just want to move the head up. That's what I want to do. It's a little bit too mm, far forward. Um, so what we can actually do with that is go on to body and make her posture better. That's moving it down. Yeah, that's a lot better. She's a lot straighter backed now, which is what we want. She's almost got that kind of bayonetta, slightly arched backwards back going on, which I think is quite good. She's got quite an open stance there, though. I'd quite like to move that right arm in. So let's try and do that. Um, we bend the shoulder. Yeah, that's better. I like that much more. That's much better. So, yeah, that, I think, is pretty much going to be Anna Williams done. If we zoom back out, as we can see, she's right there. She's got her open fighting stance with the flat hands. Uh, if we zoom around, getting our final shot, we can see the side-on action, which is what you'd see her in the game, and that's pretty accurate. Uh, the heels, as I say, very nice addition. We've got this kind of layered cloth going on with the outfit. As we move around the back, we can see more of that. The, uh, the base is quite a sort of techny. We've got that lovely addition of the, uh, of the hourglass, which I think is just quite a nice thing to have on a Tekken build or any kind of uh, 1v1 side scroller fighting with that kind of time limit going on. I think the hourglass is a very nice addition to have. And uh, that will pretty much be Anna Williams uh, finished off. So, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed that. Um, I just wanted to fast track Anna forward. She was going to be, I was going to do Anna much later on in the series, but I wanted to fast track her forward just because of the um, ability to showcase those new shoe options. 
that we have on Hero Forge. So yeah, as I say, that's going to uh, wrap this one up. Uh, links down in the description. You can find two Hero Forge, the site I'm using for all your TTRPG or D&D minifigure needs. Uh, that's the site for me. I love using it, experimenting with it. That's your kind of bag. It might be your thing too. So I highly recommend going and checking that out. You can also find a link, as ever, ever present in the description to um, building character the series by Tulok the Barbarian. That um, that uh, what's the word I'm looking for? But I always forget. I can't remember the word. Uh, 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 inspired. That's the one. <laughs> the series that inspired this one, uh, uh, building character by Tulok the Barbarian. You can find that in the description as well. Uh, remember, of course, if there are any characters you want to see me build, throw them down in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter. You can always catch me there. Uh, both my Twitter links will also be found at the bottom of the description of this video. But I'm going to get out of here. I've rambled off far too long. So my final thank you to you all for watching. And I guess with that, I'll see you next time. Laters.